let's welcome our graduates. So, is, as you can see, a 
is also a graduate today. Our lead MA instructor, Kimberly Garcia. Our MA instructor, Daisy Second. Our campus support specialist, Stephanie Lopez. Our career services officer, Sherry Silva. Also So today we gather. So today we do gather here to celebrate a major accomplishment. As a former instructor and now campus manager, I often talk about success, that word success. And what better occasion to talk about that than right here in graduation? So Success can be different things to different people, but I think there's a few basic steps and characteristics of success that are exemplified by our students, by our graduates today. So step one, so those steps are the following. Step one, in order to have success, you have to have a vision, you have to have a goal. You have to identify something that you want to pursue. So we all need, so our graduates all need a choice to, have, to make a positive, say, a, a positive change in their lives, to start a new career, to build on their existing skills. So step one was really having that vision. What do we want? Okay, and our students really did that. Step two, now we gotta take action, right? What's the action, what are the steps we have to take to pursue those goals? And you all did that. You all, made, you all took that step and started a new program which sometimes could be scary. It could be scary starting something new, starting a new school, starting a new, uh, a new path in life. And you all did that. You took a risk. Step three, persistence. This is an important one because here is where many fail. And they give up sometimes, right? But you persevered. You overcame obstacles. And you had the discipline to follow through and do the work. Even on, even on days you didn't want to do work, okay? So there's all sorts of distractions that could pull us in different directions, but you decided to stay focused and disciplined. And finally, step four, you cross the finish line. You've achieved your goal, and here you are as graduates today. Graduates today, graduates, you are here because you took these four steps and you successfully achieved an important goal, and Consider this a milestone for continued successes, uh, cons sorry. successes and accomplishments. Okay. Now it's time to celebrate this important achievement, but your work's not done. Now it's time to set new goals for yourself. This is only one of many more achievements to come. Thank you. speakers. And first up, I'd like to call up Emmy. Emmy Seguerrero. <laughs> From our dental assistant program. as well. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. 
I remember when I first started my journey here at Charter College. I barely said any words to my classmates, but as each mod went by, I slowly started to open up, and now I'm what you call a chubby cat. <laughs> I believe attending this school has allowed me to grow as a person in many ways. One of my favorite activities to do at this school is taking part in potlucks with all my friends, I mean classmates, sorry, and celebration of their of them going into externship. Although we don't do them as much all the time, we still celebrate their new journey with smiles and laughter. This school has done so much for me, and for that I would like to thank Mr. Ivan Gerges and my wonderful DA instructor, Ms. Lindsay Barone. They both have given me the skills I need to pursue in a career in dentistry. And I would also like to give skills to take the time and give this special thanks to our friends and family and our staff for supporting us through this journey. I would also like to end my speech with a quote from Orrin Hatch, and it goes like this, graduation is not the end, it is the beginning.
can have a little slideshow, just a few minutes long, just to kind of show, uh, highlight some of the, our programs, some of our campus life, and uh, over the last few months. So, um, so yeah. So, there we go.
So please stand when your name is called. Zaire Conley. Emilce Guerrero. Nikki Lopez. Crystal Cedillo.
first graduate is Zaire Connolly.
It is my right and privilege to award to you your respective degree or certificate with all rights and privileges thereunto. Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you our graduating class of 2022.